Mercy Flight Southeast is a group of about 650 volunteer pilots. We all donate our airplanes, our fuel, our time, the operating cost of the airplane to be able to take people who are sick, they have unusual illnesses, and there is no treatment anywhere locally, but their treatment is hundreds of miles away. Mercy Flight attempts to remove transportation from the equation of where do I go and get treatment. We will take them uh, to get that treatment as many times as they need. Hopefully, we'll even put them back in their bed the same night. A lot of times the pilots will fly there, wait while they get that treatment, and then wait and fly them home. Mercy Flight gets involved when it's beyond the doctor's capability. Either you have a strange cancer, a very rare cancer, you need to go to a specialist that deals with this particular kind of cancer. If you either can't afford to provide the transportation as a passenger or person, or you, your immune system is so compromised you cannot fly commercially. That's where we come into effect. My name is Mike Coucher. I'm a volunteer pilot for Mercy Flight Southeast. I've been doing Mercy Flights for about 10 years. I get to meet a lot of different patients, different age groups. It's, it's a different experience with every patient. If they're going for multiple treatments, I may have the opportunity to capture and do several of uh, four or five or six of their missions, sometimes more. We found them through Jackson Memorial Hospital as a form of transportation when the time came for my kidney and liver transplant. We really needed a different outlet in order to get there so that um, we didn't risk failure of the organs before they were able to be transported to me. We live in Claremont, which is about a four-hour drive from Miami, which is where Jackson Memorial is located. For a transplant, the lifespan of an organ after it has been removed and to go into another person is about four hours. We're four hours away. Jackson Memorial assisted us in finding them, which is the best outcome we could have had because their responsive time was amazing. We got there like 30 minutes. I'm a volunteer pilot. I've been flying their missions for a little over 11 years. We've done over 600 hours of flight time. I enjoy uh, helping people and, and having a good reason to fly the airplane. Once we got involved in it and saw how helpful we were, increased the amount that we did. My name is Christina McCabe and I have been going to Shands Hospital in Gainesville for treatment for breast cancer. So uh, I would have to have like a five hour drive and after you have treatment, chemo or radiation, you're so tired, you're sick, you're feeling sick and it's a lot on you. So just having a one hour and a half, a two hour flight instead, is just, uh, it's just a blessing. So this is our Hall of Hope. And the Hall of Hope has a pretty good number of passengers and stories that give you an idea of the work that we do. Although we do a couple of thousand flights each year, these are some of the more special cases. This is Jeb. And Jeb has had over 300 surgeries in his lifetime. He has to go from actually the Leesburg area up to Little Rock, Arkansas to be able to get the treatment that he needs. He just started eating solid food for the first time about a year and a half ago at, at age 35. And uh, his jaw was significantly out here uh, when we first started taking him and surgeries later had been brought in. So um, he's, he's, a, he's a special guy. <laughs> One of the things that, that we really have gotten to enjoy out of this is the feeling that for our passenger, we may be prolonging their life, we may be increasing the quality of their life. The best experience we've had uh, with a patient helping someone, there was a young man, nine years old, that fell on the playground and broke his arm. And his grandmother, who he lived with, took him to the hospital and they put his arm in a cast and they put the arm the cast on too tight he got home and she noticed his arm changing color she took him back to the hospital they had a major accident on the highway and while he was waiting his arm died and they were talking <laughs> excuse me get choked up on it. they were uh, talking about amputating his arm 
when someone told her that if she could get from Ocala up to Shriners in Louisville, uh, they could take muscle and nerve out of his leg and get him 85% usage of the hand and arm. And she literally sold her house for transportation money <laughs> and started taking him up there and uh, ran out of money. We took him on their last flight and that was so successful, he was using the hand to operate a Game Boy. <laughs> we just felt really good that this nine-year-old, now 11-year-old, was gonna have full use of, of his arms and hands and lead a normal life. Unusual cancers um, comes up very frequently. Jax is a you know, little boy and, and uh, took him on a number of missions because of cancer. Because there are a lot of people out there that have cancer or other, they may be burn patients, and they don't know about Mercy Floyd. And most of the time when they get out of the plane, they say, you know, we couldn't do this if it wasn't for you guys and gals flying us. It's only a phone call, and I'm sure if we can help, there are about 650 of us down here that will volunteer our services, and we'd love to do it. They say, what can we do for you? I say, get better. So this is Mitzi, our sort of service dog, and she has been on just about every single mission that I have ever flown. We put her in the back seat. The passengers love it. She wears her mutt muffs, which keep her ears protected. As soon as the wheels touch the runway, she shakes her head, and the, and the mutt muffs go around her neck because she knows they're good for her, so. I fly with Sam right now once a month. I Christmas are once a month right now, but I have been with them uh, for two and a half years, and they helped me a lot. Southwest 17, sir. I had many, many, many flights with them. Three and four eighty. Those are amazing pilots that don't give their time, their money. Seventy five, turn right heading their two plane. zero zero. Right to two to zero help zero. Others. zero and to and I just want to say a big thank you for every single pilot, pilot, because they're all doing a wonderful thing. Thank you. I just really appreciate them, and especially since I got called um, during a holiday season, and that's a big time where people want to be with their families. There's this stigma that you're supposed to give and help during the holidays, but rarely do we see it. <laughs> and so um, having Brad come to our aid when he was at a holiday party, he told us, he's like, yeah, I, he had to I, leave a party. He left a holiday party, he left his family, and he assisted in saving my life and helping me, and I, I'm forever grateful. Mercy Flight Southeast is just one of those incredible charities that we don't have to wonder about the results. These people are getting on these flights, they are telling us how incredible you know, it is that, that we've given them this treatment that they would not be able to get to these uh, facilities any other way. And, uh, and you can see how happy they are by, by getting it. So it's, it's just an incredible charity.